transfer section, users can review history, transfer funds and positions, and review saved information. On the transaction history page, use the date input fields to govern the period you want to review, search for a specific transaction, or list all transactions by type, method, or status. The transactions for the search period display on the page to the right. The results can be exported to Excel using the export icon in the upper right. Expand the gear icon to display additional fields to your search and exported results. Use the transfer funds page to make deposits or withdrawals to or from your account. Note the deposit funds and withdraw funds tabs at the top of the page. On the deposit funds tab, you will see saved deposit information at the top of the page and methods of creating deposits below. Use the currency selector and select from electronic transfer, connect to your bank account, bank wire and online bill pay or mail a check. Use the blue buttons to the right for specific information on each choice. On the withdraw funds tab, again, see displayed the saved information when created and set up methods of withdrawal from your IB account below. Transfer positions. From the drop down menu, choose inbound or outbound position transfers. When you select inbound, choose a delivery method from the next drop down and then complete the broker information appearing on screen. Determine whether to save your completed form for later use. For outbound transfers, select the two methods and proceed to the transaction information at the bottom of the page. Use the Add Asset button for each additional position you wish to select. Click Continue at the bottom right of the page when you have completed the forms. You can retain funding information and keep it available from the Saved Information menu on request. You can also edit from this page. From the application menu, you will find all of your stored bank information under the Saved Information menu. Under the Settings menu, you'll be able to locate Account and User Settings. Account settings display your profile, financial information and trading permissions. Edit your financial information by using the Configure wheel. Here you can record your income, investment experience and trading objectives. Under the Configuration menu to the right, you can select your account type, base currency, commission pricing structure, create and reset the paper trading account, and configure a host of IBFYIs. Use the configuration settings in the reporting section to the lower right to enable or disable Flex web services and or third party services. Click on the users gear icon and add people whom you want to grant login or trading access to your account. You can assign and configure user roles in the area below. Trading Permissions. Here you can see asset classes and regional trading permissions. Use the gear icon to make changes. Upon opening the configuration section, users can also sign up for IBKR's Stock Yield Enhancement Program, in which IBKR automates the lending of certain securities on behalf of the client. User settings is where all of your personal information is stored, telling us how you want to receive communication from IBKR and how you can access certain of our features. Here you can also change your password. Configure the items in the communication area to add or change email addresses and to inform us where to send alert notifications. Configure security restrictions including IP address from the area below. In the Trading Platform panel, users may turn on and off market data subscriptions as well as add and cancel subscriptions to research providers. If you are subscribed to a research provider, details are shown in the configuration area. Use the blue wheel to access the entire list of research available and add to your current subscriptions. Account management features within Client Portal are easy to navigate. Don't forget to use the help icons for additional guidance if you can't immediately find what you're looking for. And remember to use the many configuration icons to set the account management area to precisely how you'd like it.